Oh, that's a campfire. Hot, hot. Hey guys, welcome back. I just wanted to show you one of my new things. I finally got rid of my old coffee pot that didn't uh, <laughs> have, any, have an insert or anything in it anymore. And this is one of my birthday presents this year. Um, I got the new Stanley stainless steel coffee pot. And I'm making my coffee this morning on it with my Utad stove because we got so much rain everything is very 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 wet and we want to go fishing so I'm making a quick pot of coffee um, this coffee pot I really like it because um, I'm freehanding this so it's gonna be a little shaky it's got the rubber ring on it you know so and of course so you don't for this type of setup or on like a regular Coleman stove or whatever for easy grabbing and it's a lot of the coffee pots nowadays for camping have really thin metal on the bottom it's like they're all made for these types of burners or camp stoves none of them are made to go in an open fire anymore so it was hard to find a coffee pot that you could use nowadays in a campfire, an open fire, you know. MSR has one. Um, I looked at that one too. But I like this one because, you know, I like, I like the Stanley stuff. What I liked about it is this doesn't have, this. all the other ones had the wood handle or just a metal handle. This has a nice rubber grip handle. And when you're using it in, in an open fire... You t the rubber grip handle comes off. Oops. You can take it off. And then use a hot pad. So, you know, you're not burning off your handle and all this other crap. Like where the wood ones, the wood handle burns off and then that's all you, you got nothing. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I'll bring you back. It t it, this is a 10 cup pot. And, um, boy, I'll tell you, I used it yesterday morning, too. I really liked it a lot. It made just an excellent cup of coffee. So I'll bring you back in a couple minutes when it starts perking. Well, guys, I'm sorry I forgot to show the coffee percolating in the coffee pot. I was so excited to have my coffee that... I drank it. I'm almost done drinking it in my I'm on liquid time mug. We're at lunchtime. My sister is over there doing some chicken breasts over the fire. And when those are done, we're going to do some thick cut bacon. And we're going to do chicken and bacon sandwiches for lunch. All right, Deb. So, I'm going to take you guys over and show you what we came up here to. There were a lot of tornadoes and storms. There's the tent. Tornadoes and storms that went through here. And uh, there's a huge tree right there that broke and fell all the way right behind my outhouse it just missed there's all the branches from it but when it fell it hit that tree right there and cracked it and it's hanging directly over the outhouse and it's up there quite a ways as you can see and then there was a whole bunch of branches that came off of this big tree here that fell on it and in front of it and all over the ground that I moved all those out of the way I threw them all over here on the sides so here's my problem yeah look at that mess 
how the heck do I get that branch down by myself? Because it's when it cracks the rest of the way, it's going to fall right on the new outhouse. I'm not really sure, you know, because it's hung up right there with the mess from the big tree that fell. And as you can see, it's cracked halfway through. And when it dries enough to crack the rest of the way, it's going to fall straight down right on top of this. I'm not sure what to do. And then another tree, small tree right there, snapped off. Another one fell right there. We got more branches down here. So we had quite the storm come through. <laughs> and as you can see right in the background there is where my bushcraft camp has started. When Jesse and I come up, we're going to work on that, get going on that some more. So I just, and we just cleared everything out between here and the bushcraft camp. So we had a nice clear path to it. It's not as close to the outhouse as it looks because I zoomed in. But now that big tree fell there. Well, there's two of them down there, actually. So I got a lot to clean up. But I really have a dilemma here on how to get that limb down without it crashing on the outhouse. So if anybody's got any bright ideas on how I can do that by myself... Let me know. All right, I'll get back to you later.